Hi, Genki Call here. It is the Tower of Doom for the week of October 18th, 2021. Before I get into this and show you all of the teams that I've come up with for the Tower of Doom for you, let's head into the shop and get this doomed weapon. Definitely want this. Definitely want it. Because I actually, it's not the, uh, the weapon that I want. Weapon looks, you know, okay. What I really want is the Forge Scrolls so that I can upgrade my Doomed Blade. But I'm going to take it up to here and I'll stop there for the moment. I'll probably get bunches more later. Just a side note that it is possible to get um, a Mythic out of the shop here. It's really rare in all the time I've been playing. It's only happened to me once. So here's that new Doomed Weapon. Whee! But I am saving the Forge Scrolls for my Doomed Blade. Yes! Finally get that thing upgraded. Alright. Let's head in here. I'll show you the first team. Now I'm going to be switching back and forth between three programs. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, basically one of them has my teams and another one has the mapping. The map that I... The... the the scrolls that I'm getting from my rooms are going to be different from the ones that you're getting in your rooms unless you're in my guild. So um, every guild has different ones. I will link in a, uh, a video at the end of this video um, explaining how the Tower of Doom works. And you can also on the thumbnail for this video see what each of the scrolls does. But for now, let's get into the teams. This is my first team. There are no legendaries on this team. This is for the people that have no legendaries and have not reached the underworld yet or have not been able to pull troops from the, from the underworld. Everyone has the Mountain Crusher. We all know it's great at mana accumulation for the team. Love it, love it. Volthranax is going to explode a gem, deal damage to all enemies boosted by yellow gems destroyed, so you want to be sure and explode a bunch of yellow gems if you can uh, with a times four boost ratio then we've got Silfrostanath who's going to do damage to all enemies and freeze one to four of them skull damage reduction by 30 percent that's pretty nice you could always stick that up front if you want um, and move mountain crusher down some and then Malcandessa is here she's going to web the weakest enemy and now she does it does look like a legendary and the others look like mythics, but they're not. The base rarity is indicated right here. She's not actually a legendary. She's just been upgraded to that, um, ascended to that. Anyway, she converts yellow gems to green to feed Silfrostanath. She's going to web and poison the weakest enemy as well. So webbing makes it so that they don't do so much damage to you, which is always great. So let's head on in here. I hope I'm supposed to do room two. Yes, room two and room four for me. Uh, this is yellow to green, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I don't use her very often, so. Ho, 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 I love explosions. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And that worked out nicely. Great. Select a gem, oh yes, uh, yellow, there we go. I think I'll do two battles with each one of these teams. Haste scroll, and I said room four. Yes, that is correct. Is my unlock. And then we'll move up to the next floor after that. Well, we have to defeat the doom first, but. Alright, kapow! Do this. Right, yellow. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm not using a medal of a new. I'm not. Uh, I am using medals of a medal. What am I using? Hold on. Two medals of Nisha and a medal of Seasons. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Back into the Tower of Doom. I should grab that next team for you. And this program. Oops, I've already got it copied. I forgot. Edit. Manage paste. It's not the right team. There we go. Alright, this is no legendaries, but it does contain two troops, 
that are from the underworld. The first is a water elemental that is from Sunken Fleet. That's at the bottom right of the map. That's where you can also get the Mirage Queen. Um, this guy is really, really useful. He does damage to all enemies and stuns them. So that's great. And he has that water link, which is very nice. And then the Alithian Servitor, also very useful, does damage to all enemies, then steals two magic from all survivors. So um, if all of them survive, you get an extra eight, um, an eight damage every turn that you cast, as long as they're surviving, because he's stealing two magic and that's two damage each time. So for each, anyway, I'll stop talking. <sighs> Mountain Crusher for explosions, Captain Skullbeard for explosions. And, um, you know, basically he's just here because he can explode things. And two mana generators, two that do damage to all enemies. This is the way I like to do things for delves. This is the way I like to do things in general because that way you don't tend to stall out. The faster you get mana, the faster you can take out your enemies. If they have a chance to get some mana and get going, they can wipe you out. And that is my approach to this game, basically. Go. I should be showing you entire floors with these teams, I think. They're really effective with my um, stuff. The stuff with the stuff. Uh, let's see, I'm on floor two. That is room two and three this time for me. Alright, two. Okie dokie. There we go, let's blow things up. Boom! Nice. Alright, next team. Because there are so many, you see. Uh, two and three. The next team is um, is one that for people who have the legendaries, but they don't have uh, like Queen Beatrix yet. So we'll do this again. It's coming up with that team that I don't want. There we go. Ah, okay. So this time I've got two divine here. We've got my hero who's using priest to make her divine she's going to explode a bunch of yellow gems and grant a random status effect to all divine allies and summon a divine troop if needed um, and then um, uh, Ankhnum is also divine and Ankhnum I think going to be very useful in this Tower of Doom event because um, sorry because Right, 25% chance to curse a random enemy when the turn begins, and he's going to do damage to all enemies boosted by cursed enemies. That's not the part that's good. For every cursed enemy, give a barrier to a random ally. So um, if you can get those barriers up, it's really going to be helpful. And then King Avalorn is going to do damage to all enemies and summon a Forest of Thorns troop. That means we have two summoners on the team and the Knight Coronet. Removes all purple gems and does damage to the first enemy and the last enemy. I don't know why it just, just say well, damage to the first and last enemy. I don't know. Weird. Anyway, um, this is another one. I, of course, have not tried this. Usually, I almost always I don't try out these teams before I take them in. I just put them together and hope that they work. Uh, let's see. Avalorn... Well, that worked. <laughs> okay, so now we head for the door, right? Let me make sure. Yes. Oh, the next room we go straight for unlock. All right. So if you're wondering why I'm skipping rooms, it is so that I can complete as many levels as I can. I go into more detail on that in my video on the Tower of Doom event, which you can find 
linked in at the end of this video. Um, but I lost my train of thought. <sighs> uh, right, so basically I'm trying to make sure that I get as high in the tower as possible to get plenty of um, dooms cre um, defeated for my guild and so that I can at least get to, to level 25 to get every possible forged scroll. As I really want those, they're very valuable, they're very, very hard to get because these tower events only come along like every 12 weeks, something like that. So on floor 3, we want to go straight to room 3. Remember, this is going to be different unless you're in my guild. Your unlocks and whatnot will be different than mine. We'll use this team one more time, then we'll sque squeeze. <sighs> Switch to the next one. I <laughs> don't even know where that came from. We'll squeeze. <sighs> Alright, we'll do this. And this. Knight Coronet is in the front because he has skull damage reduction. And I don't remember how much, but we'll look in a second. It is 50% skull damage reduction. That's why I have him up front. All right, manage, paste. That is indeed the one I wanted. So the forest troll, double, double the number of green gems on the board, then create three more. Skull damage reduction by 33%. And he entangles when he does skull damage. Queen Beatrix, you got to know who Queen Beatrix is. She is a beast. And I love her. Uh, create nine and uh, green and nine brown gems. Deal sc true scatter damage and independent 40% chances to gain an extra turn and half your mana back. Oh my goodness, kitty. You cannot be on my lap right now. And the best thing about Queen Beatrix is cleanse all allies when matching four plus gems. Um, right. So... If you don't have Queen Beatrix, you can put Gob Truffle in here. If you only have one Queen Beatrix, you can put in a Gob Truffle with her. And there's another team uh, later on that uses Beatrix and another troop. So uh, let's go ahead and use this one. And actually, that's coming up next. Oh, yay. A Royal Crystal's ready to go. Boom, I love blowing things up. Nice thing about Arboreal Crystal is that it summons a Leaf Storm, so that is super helpful. Yeah, this team is just brutal. <laughs> this one's brutal to fight. Alright, am I on floor four? I am on the fourth floor. So, fourth floor, that is three and five. Do three... Doop. Not very much green on this board. Not gonna risk it. Well, that worked. Alright, we'll just do that. Haste scroll, of course. And then the next team is another one with Queen Beatrix. In case you only have one queen bee. Oh my goodness, come on. I don't know why it's doing this. I hate it when it does this. Alright, this time we've got the mountain crusher with queen bee. Crimson bat, in case you don't have a second queen bee. It does true damage to all enemies. And you gain life, which is nice. And, yeah. And then Sharonis, who is going to blow things up for us and get us lots of mana. He's also a necromancer, not that that helps since we don't have anything that will get us souls, but he is from Hellgate in the Underworld, and Queen Beatrix, of course, is from the Deep Hive, if I... Yes, I did definitely forget to mention that. I'm using Tidecaller for the um, blue here, also for the third trait, which 
explodes a blue gem when you match four plus gems. Of course, lots of explosions with Queen Beatrix around. I mean, lots of match fours. And also with the Mountain Crusher, you get lots of match fours. And also, if you don't want to use Tide Collar, I would suggest Monk for the barrier on brown. And also, let me show you, because I love visuals, customize, you would want to pick this, Water Mastery. Gain bonus blue mana from blue gem matches. Alright, so let's give this one a try. This should work pretty well. This is my usual two mana... Uh, generators and two that do damage to all enemies or two hard hitters. Only six of those. Uh, oh, match four. Better. Oh, still only six. Uh, let's try this. No, nope, I was hoping for... Oh, that works. Alright. Do that. probably really don't even need to show this team uh, because you know it just so good uh, let me see we'll go ahead and head in here but I am gonna show it twice and grab the other team code while that's loading the next uh, three teams have um, have mythics on them Wow, I love that. Oh, I love blowing things up. Kapow! Oh. Hee hee hee. Oh, there's only six, and there's 13 of those, so we'll definitely do that one. I'll just take them out with the uh, Crimson Bat here. Crimson Bat actually is hitting harder than uh, Beatrix. The thing that makes Beatrix so awesome is that... Um, Beatrix can loop. Uh, oh, floor five. I forgot to look. Oh, ha, ha. Floor five. We've got uh, three and four. Where is my program? There we go. Three. Let me paste this in. Once again, I don't know why it's doing that. That is the wrong code. What? Did I put this in here wrong? I may have. I may have to fix this. Hold on. Oh yeah. Shucks. Alright, I'll put it in manually. So, for this next one, we've got the Arboreal Crystal. We have two Queen Bees. And then the last troop is Sycorax. So that is the mythic for this team. This is a heavily looping team. Sycorax is crazy powerful. Every one of these troops y uses blue. And actually, personally, I would put Sycorax further up here. But you only want to, when using Sycorax, you only want to use the colors that he uses to double. Green, blue, or brown, whichever one is the most on the board. Ideally, you want to do uh, blue so the entire team gets boosted and gets that healing. But anyway, I'll just show you. I will just show you. We'll see how this works. I've never had him at the back of my team before. This I got from one of my teammates. And this will summon a Leaf Storm. Probably not going to even get a chance to use Sycorax, honestly. Oh, here we go. So, we have Sycorax here. He uses green, blue, and brown. And the totals are over here. And none of them are really going to be great to double, so... Um, because you ideally want them at least 12, preferably at, at 13, in order to loop. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give the enemy control of the board even at this low level because you know it's just a, a thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. Three and four. Didn't I say three and four? Hold on. Oh yes, we don't want to miss uh, number four. That's haste, and we definitely want that. If you don't know what haste is, look at the um, thumbnail for this video. It will explain it. It's all very confusing. You know, we only do this every now and then, and it's hard for me to keep track of what each one of these things do when we do it so infrequently. So I... Honestly, I have to look every single Tower of Doom event to see what each of the scrolls does. But you can click on it here and it says, Grants plus one Doom Sigil in the Tower of Doom event. You absolutely want to grab every single Hay Scroll, unless you don't care about, uh, about getting your totals up for the leaderboard. But, you know, I really would prefer to try if we can. So, let's see, room 5, did I already use this twice? I did. I think I did. I think I did. Ooh, I like this next team. Something completely different. Entirely mechs. Um, I think it's going to be fun. So, manage. Wait, wait, wait. Manage. Copy, because I had it wrong in my... Um in my cheat sheet here. I want to be sure I have it right for you when I give it to you. So, let's try this again. Paste. There we go. Okay. I love this team. Okay. In theory, I love this team. So we've got the Clockwork Knight, who's going to gain a bunch of armor. He's got skull damage reduction by 50%. He's going to transform a random color to yellow, right? We've got Rover 300, who's going to explode a gem and create four yellow gems boosted by skulls destroyed with a times three boost ratio. If you get a cluster of skulls, this creates a ton of yellow. Um, and then we've got the Staff of Storms that's going to explode all of that yellow, and it will summon if we need it. The th thing that this team is suffering from is tons of mana and not a whole lot of damage. The only damage is going to come from Ironhawk here who's going to create some Doom Skulls and then explode 24 gems which will make all of the Doom Skulls explode, clear the board, and do a bunch of damage from the, to them from the Doom Skulls that are exploding. So I think this is fun but now that I'm looking at it I'm thinking maybe replace Rover 300 with something that can do some damage. Yeah, I'm. Th I have a feeling that it really is going to need to have something else here that does damage. But in theory, this should loop a lot and work well. But it's not going to be as fast. So I'm gonna do this first. We're going to look at that. Mm, nice. Yeah, I think having something on here that's going to uh, do some damage besides Ironhawk would be really good. I don't want to blow things up. I want to... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. And we'll explode this, get lots of yellow. We've got our Ironhawk ready to go. Blow that up. Nice. Alright, as far as this goes, I'm thinking, yeah, add another, another damage dealing troop in here. But I do enjoy the fact that it's something different. Oh, floor six, I forgot to look. I forgot to look. Uh, let's see, three and five. And three... I think Rover 300 is really good for this team um, because you saw how fast Ironhawk was filling up immediately as soon as I used F Rover 300. So I'm thinking replace Clockwork Knight. Let's see, who has stone skin that might be able to... Oh, we need something that does damage. Oh, uh, mm, 
Huh. Wow, he's a good tank. Um, something that does damage to all enemies. Skull damage reduction. Damage to all enemies. Let's try this. We'll try that. Oh, but we have to... Nope, I'm okay with it being minus green. That's fine. Alright, let's try this. Partially mana blocking rover 300, but since I have a 50% mana start anyway, blow things up. Ah! Yep. Nice. And again. <laughs> Go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, what? I don't remember what I was supposed to be doing. What does she do? Remove all gems of a chosen color and deal damage boosted by the gems removed. No effect from the removed gems at all except to boost the spell with a 2 to run 1 ratio. So if I remove 10 gems, it'll do an extra 5 damage. So not a ton. But I've got lots of skulls here, so let's... We'll do that one. Nice. Rover 300 is good. I like that. Yeah, I think this is going to be better. So let me grab this code, and I will add it to the description. Uh, which room do I do next? I don't remember. Did I say five? I did say five. Um... Or with K R Y S T E N A X, Christanix. Uh, five. There we go. And let me paste that for you. There we go. Make sure it's actually. Oh, good. It did. Okay, I was afraid that it didn't copy properly. Now I think this next team is actually the one I'm going to stick with when I'm at higher level. Um, for these lower levels I'm not sure, but for the higher levels this is the last team I have for you for now. We've got Rope Dart. Eliminate all armor from an enemy, deal damage to them, and pull them to the first position. And you get an extra turn if you have it upgraded. King Goth Truffle, which has a guaranteed extra turn, create lots of brown and green. Brown will feed Mistralis, green will feed himself. Mistralis is going to do splash damage to one to four enemies. Jumble the board, gain an extra turn. That's three with an extra turn. And she enchants all allies on match four plus. And the Mirage Queen, which is going to give all of them a 50% mana start because every one of them is an elemental except for my hero. Let me see on the class here. I have mana source, so my, um, my hero is also getting a 50% mana start. And if nothing else, if you've got a ton of green on the board from King Gob Truffle and it lines up with a match four, I'll blow them up with my Doom Skulls. Wahaha! <laughs> Plus the fact that Mirage Queen Curses is always nice as well. Nice. This is a free cast. 100% free. Awesome. Oh, let's do this. Who has the most armor? You do. And we'll do this. Free turn and no alignment. Do that. Do that. Get some mana and finish them off with the rope dart. Whee! You know what? I totally forgot about another one of my teams. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to do more. I will show you. I have another team in mind. So, uh, did it do... Yes. Do I head straight for the room? Let me look at floor six again. I think that is correct. Just three and five. 
Oopsie. I made a mistake again. Please pause for the moment. Bear with me while I delete my mistake. There we go. I was just looking at the map for floor 7. Okay, the next team I will show you after this. Next one uses Shibanu Vespera. Ooh, Shibanu is awesome. Love Shibanu Vespera. I had a lot of fun with her and uh, Finesse in a previous uh, video. Or the last Tower of Doom. Was it the last one? No, it was in the Yellow Tower of Doom. My bad. The yellow one. That was the one that was lots of fun. Uh, yeah, I can take 37 damage. Go for it. Free hit. And we'll do that. I should have taken that match four across there. Ah, I've got to pay more attention. Alright. I need... Oh, that'll do. Wahahaha. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to make this next team for you, and I will need to do floors, or rooms 3 and 5. 3 edit teams. Let's do this. Sorry. Going to sort by base rarity. Where is she? I know I can use her. There she is, Shabanu! Shabanu Vespera! What is that new troop? Balder. And the Emperor. There he is. And I'm gonna do that. And then I will do weapon. Hmm. No, I want to do solid... Oh, Anu. Anu Scepter. Alright, let me explain the team. I think Balder is totally unnecessary in here, but I thought it would be cool to, uh, to try to use him. This is the new epic troop. Oh, he's not the one I was thinking. Not Balder. Um, fast. Oh, oh it's under weapon. Jeez. I thought he used it blue and brown. Hey, what's the name of the new legendary? Oh, I don't own him! Vidar the Vast. Vidar the Vast. Doggone it, I didn't have him. I think Vidar the Vast would be cool in here. Um, yeah, I just think he would be pretty cool in here. He's got... There's going to be so much blue on the board from Shivanu um, that the Emperor is going to give... This is going to be free because um, you have to watch up here and it'll be over 100%. You know it's entirely free. And then, let's see, let's find another troop that is all blue. What do I usually use? Oh yeah, the Winter Imp. The Winter Imp. This is a good team. I love this team. It's a lot of fun. Um, the Winter Imp does true scatter damage, boost... Um, to all en enemies boosted by blue gems with the times two boost ratio. There's going to be a ton of blue on the board. And this. Gain eight magic on blue gem matches. This thing is crazy powerful with Shabanu Vespera. And we don't want a m minus purple. And we also do... Well, tide color is fine. I need to level it anyway. But we definitely don't want that banner. We want m uh, plus blue and purple or blue plus plus and yellow would work let's do that i like that one all right let's take this in here let me grab this team code for you there we go to battle I hear a foul raven. You know, delayed response and all that. Alright. Destroy all gems of a chosen color. So we want to destroy stuff that's going to help Shibanu. 
Um, so yellow or purple, definitely yellow. Didn't help her that much. Uh, oop, there we go. And we want to cast on anything but herself. So I, I want to cast on the Winter Imp because I want to get that multiplier up. He's up to 93 true damage, scatter damage. And then we'll mute. I like, want the match for. And we'll do that again. And basically, just keep doing it until um, either is a crazy amount in here that you know is going to take out the enemy or until you lose control of the board. And it can happen if she casts on herself a couple times, but she does um, give uh, a random skill a boost, create nine gems of the mana color, which is why I have so much blue on the team, and then repeat two more times for random allies. So she's boosting everyone here. And if I cast it on my hero, I could get that going up. If only he was not <laughs> silenced, I could show you that I could get a free cast. Look. 112% plus the 7%. So that's a 119% chance to get an extra turn. And this is what I'm talking about when I say I think this would be cool with that new legendary. To have that much of a boost. I mean, he's going to devour. He's absolutely going to devour with this team. The only thing you have to worry about is losing control of the board. Let's see. Let's do this one more time. That should be plenty. <laughs> yeah, definitely plenty. If you don't have the Winter Imp and you've done um, enough Guild Wars to have the Penguin, Penguin works well in there as well. Or you can use the Penguin instead of the Emperor. Any solid blue troop was going to do. You could even use Ulor in there if you want. It just is a adding extra colors to the mix, which is kind of dangerous. Four, seven, uh, three, and five. Wait a minute, not five. I don't need five. That was all I needed. Nothing else there is what I'm looking for. So, Tower of Doom, eight. Ooh, a Lux Scroll, nice. All right, first we have to finish off this Doom. So I'm gonna f actually just finish off this fight and then I'll upload the video so that you have a chance to see all of these teams because um, the longer I wait the more time you're having to to, uh, to wait on me so sorry about that uh, that works for me match four do to do yellow purple definitely purple nice and we're going to cast on this guy again and again See, she got some yellow in there at that time. And this. Up to 117. And look, my attack here for my hero is up to uh, um, 100. I have 77% chance for an extra turn. Not going to take it. And now I have less. Okay, we'll keep going. There we go. 100% chance. This is 21 to all skills. That's attack, that's magic, that's life, that is armor, everything. So we'll go ahead and cast that, get our extra turn. Take that because it was a match for with skulls, and that should be plenty. So there you go. Some s teams for you. They're all in the description box below. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.